Besides myself, I am due to a woman. One that haunts me, one that claims me, one that will have me. <laughs> what claim lay she to thee? Mary, sir, such claim as you would lay to your horse. Oh. And she would have me as a beast. Not that I, being a beast, she would have me, but that she, being a very beastly creature, lays claim to me. <laughs> what is she? A very reverend body. Mm. I, sir, such a one as a man may not speak of without he say, Sir Reverence, I have but lean luck in the match, yet she is a wondrous fat marriage. <laughs> what means thou, so, a fat marriage? Marry, sir, she's the kitchen wench and all grease. Oh. And I know not what use to put to her but to make a lamp of her and run from her by her own light. <laughs> I warrant her rags and the tallow in them will burn a Poland winter. If she lives till doomsday, she'll burn a week longer than the whole world. <laughs> what complexion is she of? Swart, like my shoe. Oh. But nothing like so clean kept, for why she sweats a man may go over shoes in the grime of it. Well, well, that's a fault that water will mend. No, sir, tis in grain. Noah's flood could not do it. <laughs> what, what's her name? Nell, sir. <laughs> but her name and three quarters, that's an L and three quarters, mm -hmm. will not measure her from hip to hip. <laughs> then she bears some bread. No longer from head to foot than from hip to hip. She is spherical. Like a globe. <laughs> I could find out countries in her. 